Welcome biologists. Today we are looking at uh, transporting animals taken from 3.1.2 from the OCR specification for A-level biology. I'm looking at specification F, um, point F, which is the cardiac cycle. And you've got to know the rules here, the value uh, valves, the pressure changes in the heart and what happens uh, in and around the heart as well. So in the previous lesson objective, you should have learned the different parts of the heart. So that's just there to remind you. Um, so the cardiac cycle, obviously, this is a sequence of contraction and relaxing of the heart chambers in one heartbeat. Both sides of the heart will contract at the same time. For example, both atria will contract at the same time and then both ventricles will contract at the same time. And this causes blood to pass through the heart due to the different pressure changes, which we're going to look at in a second. So you have different stages. You have systole and diastole. Systole is where the heart muscle is contracting. So you have atrial systole. Atrial systole is where the atria are contracting. Ventricular systole is where the ventricles are contracting. And diastole is where the heart muscle is re relaxed. Both the atria and the ventricles relax at the same time. So diastole, here you can see um, the diastole where we have uh, LP. LP, low pressure, HP, high pressure. So I'm just going to focus here on the left side. So here you can see we have higher pressure coming in from the veins, which are bringing blood back to the heart. So we've got higher pressure here. Therefore, the blood will enter the atria. And um, because there is a low pressure in the atria, uh, blood will flow into the atria and then into the ventricles through the atrioventricular valve, which is open during diastole. You need to be able to talk here on each stage about the pressure and the volume. So because they've got a higher pressure here and a low pressure here, I've got a low pressure. Therefore, blood is going to flow from the vein into the atria, through the atrioventricular valve into the ventricles so that is described for you there if you want to pause it and read it atrial systole is the next step so in atrial systole we have uh, because of the contraction of the cardiac muscle in the atria this causes a high pressure in the atria therefore we have a lower volume therefore it's forced the blood is forced through into the ventricles through the atrial ventricular valve this causes the atria to empty basically as you're forcing blood into the ventricles through the atrial ventricular valve um, so that uh, the next one is a ventricular systole if you want to pause and read that because i'm going to show you on the diagram so we have um Due to ventricular, ventricular systole, the ventricle muscle and the ventricle wall, the cardiac muscle is contracted. This causes a high pressure in my ventricles. And because there is a high pressure, this forces my atrial ventricular valves to close. We don't want backflow of blood back into my atria. So my atrial ventricular valves here are now going to close. However, my semilunar valves are now going to open at the base of my, of my arteries. Therefore, blood is going to be forced from my ventricles through my, my semilunar valve into my artery. It's really important you were talking about where is the pressure high, where is the pressure low, where is blood moving to and from and through which valves. Really important you mention those things. Where is the blood pressure high, where is it low, uh, where is the blood moving to and from and what valve is or valves is it moving through. So that is the cardiac cycle. You do need to be aware where the atrioventricular valves are open and closed and when the semilunar valves are open and when the semilunar valves are closed. The opening and closing of the valves causes the lub dub 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 of the heartbeat. So the first and the second lub dub, that is the, the basically opening or well, the closing of the two valves. Um, so there we are the cardiac cycle. I'm going to um, start a new video in a second, which is going to cover this graph, which is also very heavily questioned in your exam. So guys, for now, just recap on your cardiac cycle. All the best for your exam. Please remember good scientific keywords. Specifically with this, you must mention where the pressure is high, where the pressure is low, where is the blood moving to and from, and what valve is open and closed by reference to the atrial ventricular valve and the semilunar valve. Guys, good luck, all the best.